Hey sunshine, today I wanna to show you how I am migrating, setting up, and updating some spreads for the second quarter of the year. First, let's take a little look at the spreads I have in the front of my journal, how they're going, and then we'll, we'll take a look at what we're moving. So future log is fine. It lasts all year, so it's gonna stay where it is. Celestial calendar also lasts all year. It's gonna stay exactly where it is. Samhain spread, all good. Goals progress. Okay, this page is not only moving, but it's also changing a fair amount too. You can see the categories that I have here. They, they made sense to my brain when I set it up because these are different categories of my life in which I would probably want to set up some goals. They have to do with my YouTube channel. I run two Etsy stores. This is the printable one, which you've probably heard about on my channel because I make the bullet journal printables for it. This one is for Twitch graphics. So assets that Twitch streamers can add to their channels to I don't know, make their brand prettier, <laughs> I hope. And Patreon, of course, you've heard about. This is the That Girl series that I've started on my channel this year. And then this is for fun because I mean, what's the point of life if you're not having fun, right? So this is all well and good, but these goals are not inspiring. They don't work for me. I have things on here like, for example, with the That Girl series, I added like video one, video two, video three. Well, okay, sure, I can check them off, I got them done, but that's not a goal, that's just something I was gonna do anyways. You know what I mean? So that's really just a to-do list, and I've kind of done that with the Etsy shops as well. I've just, these are things I would like to add to the shops, so it's really just a to-do list, not like a goal to achieve. And then here, it's almost the opposite problem because I have get 50 patrons or get 7,000 subscribers, which is great, and those are good goals to have, but I can't really do anything about it. I, I can do the best that I can to grow my channel or my Patreon, but in the end, I don't actually control those numbers. So that's also not a very inspiring thing to track. So when I migrate this page over, there's gonna be some changes. This is the star of the show. This page I had grand plans for and it's kind of working, but it needs an update. I actually did my first quarterly plan in the last quarter of last year. I had made the key into a bunch of different colors and I found that frustrating because I was constantly searching for eight different markers and figuring out like, ah, oh, which, which green did I use again? You know, it was just, it was annoying and it wasn't easy. So I thought this time, okay, I'll make different patterns so I can use the same pen all the time and it'll be simpler. Except that I don't know how you feel about it. I think this looks very chaotic and my brain doesn't understand from a glance what I'm looking at. I can, of course, look over here and see, okay, horizontal stripes. All right, that means that was a planning and sketching day, which is fine. That means I really have to rely on that key. I can't just get an impression of what's happening from a glance. So that's one thing that doesn't work. So what I did is in this bottom one, I actually started just writing things out as I want them to be, you know, using words because words are a generally a good way to communicate. She says, skipping over her words. Yep. <laughs> um, so I'm going to kind of take this, but then give myself a little bit more room for the writing and then rework the key a little bit when we migrate it over. Milestones is fine. This is gonna keep lasting me until the end of the six months. So it's good as it is. Health is fine. It's still lasting the full six months. Media is very likely going to fill up. I actually have a few things on here I, I still need to add as well. So I'm gonna be migrating this one over as well, but it will stay the same. It's working the way it is. That being said, let's actually flip forward and set up these pages. The other thing I will do with all of these pages is add that black border like I did to all my pages at the front of the book so that they're easy to flip to. I can differentiate them from the rest of my monthly setups.
as you can see, I really didn't add a lot of decor. I didn't spend any time drawing flowers or adding anything like that. I really just need these pages to be functional. So all I've done is I've added a little bit of gray marker, some drop shadows, and a little sprinkling of stars just to give it some interest. But really, I, I just need these pages to be functional. So now that these pages are set up, let's actually take a look and see how to use them. So as I said, media didn't change at all. I will still continue to list the shows and movies that I've watched here, add any suggestions from friends here, and let's look at goals. As you saw in the previous iteration of this spread, I had divided it into sections that were different focuses of my life. Instead, what I've done here is divide it into different categories that I'm actually focusing on. These are categories that I have created in my 2022 vision board, which I may actually make a separate video about to explain more about that. But these are things that I want to actually focus on putting my effort into this year. So this is definitely more inspiring to me. Very briefly, these categories are treat myself well, which means taking care of myself. This could be self-care, could be physical care, could be sort of journaling, meditation, green juices, that kind of thing. That, that's a little, a little, that girl E, you know, looking put together. This this is something I want to do a little bit more of this year because I feel I've been a little bit of a potato over the last two years, if you know what I mean. I feel better about myself when I feel put together. Inspiring environment. I would like to be inspired by my home, my office, the things that are around me and have beauty and interesting things around me because it helps inspire my creativity. Building my income. Obvious. Who doesn't want more money? This is important. Magical moments means creating memories. Putting effort into to actually enjoying life and creating those moments of exploration and laughter and creativity and connection with friends and family and intentionally creating these moments instead of just waiting for them to happen. I don't know 100% what I will put under each of these categories yet. That's to figure out when I go to fill in these pages, but for now at least I'm already more inspired by this spread, so it should be working better. And we'll flip back here to the second quarter plan. Here's my plan on how this is gonna work. I've created two rows for each day. Now that it's a full block high, I should have enough space to write in here a little bit easier. So I will actually be writing down the items. And what I wanna do is use the top row for what the plan is, and then the row underneath to write what actually happened. So I can kind of get a sense of, I intended to spend only two days filming, but actually it took me four. So I can plan better in the future. Because I'm using actual words, to describe everything. I don't need color coding or patterns to figure out what stuff is, but I do actually want to color code just a little, just for like the basic categories of what things are, not for every single item that I would be writing in here. So for YouTube, the Etsy shops, content would mean Instagram posts, creating reels or Patreon posts. Brand would be the brand itself, things that I need to do for dark sunlight. Freelance is my job. <laughs> I'm a freelance graphic designer, so any days that I have a focus on that. And life and min would be house projects or errands or things like that. So those are the pages I've decided to migrate and upgrade into the second quarter of my bullet journal for the year. I hope this was useful to you to see what sort of systems I create and how I actually change them when I realize what's working and what's not working. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this, that they're a little bit more chatty and I explain a little bit more about how I actually use my bullet journal. I hope you have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Until next time.